Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the... We're playing some more Tales of Bursnia. That might ex Take a look at this. Scout ship settings. Sounds like whatever that sound was last time before it got off was just a glitch. Just a anyway. Wait, back in one piece, boss has been waiting for. Actually, wait. Do I have to? Like, corrupted or just kill bug? You did the job well, it seems. You heard quickly. That's about all I'm good for. And with these old ears, sometimes it's hard to hear it all. And did you learn anything about the key for passing through the barrier? Yes. Only the high-ranking exorcist can enter through the barrier protecting Artorius and his temple. Exorcists are considered high-ranking if they are accompanied by at least four greater Malachim. Hmm. So if we had four powerful Malachim with us, we could slip through. But Malachim outside the Abbey's control are rare. They thought this through. Hmm. Well, I may not look it, but I'm a greater Moloch. Aizen, Lafiset, and Bienfu. So we just need one more. We'll have to steal it then. So I have to come too? Sounds like a pain. Then stay. We don't need you. We'll keep Bienfu though. You have no courtesy. How about, it would be an honor, Madam Mogilu? More like that. Would you come if we asked? To attack the shepherd? <laughs> Depends on how you ask. A battle between shepherd and demon sounds like a real fine spectacle. I'm afraid this is just how Miss Mogilu is. Miss Mogilu, um, I, I would like it if, if you came with us, Pl please. Luffy said. Well, what choice does that leave me? I suppose I could tag along a little while longer. You can count on me. Melchior will be there. You and I still share the same goal. Our business is done. You can have this back. Keep it, dear. As long as you have that, we will count you as an ally worthy of aid. Allies of the ones trying to kill the Savior? You might regret that. <laughs> Such a considerate young lady. Listen, dear. All of us live on the fringes of their so-called reason, do we not? Don't say I didn't warn you. Velvet, wait. My, my. I can't blame him. It's been a long night. Some aid for your allies? Of course. Right away.
Oh, well, he was too heapy. You're finally up. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Getting sleepy or hungry is a natural part of life. I won't eat you. What about your wounds? Feeling pain? That's also natural, right? I'm fine. It was nothing. You're really tough, aren't you, Velvet? You have to be tough if what you seek is revenge. Revenge? We're leaving. Rokuro and the others are waiting at the plaza. What, why am I in the office? What? Oh, it's because party. See you later if you're still alive. Book stayed all up all night to put cards. Let's sleep while. Alright. Got a lot for us. Hope we meet again. Come back and have some Mabo curry with. <sighs> what joy to face a clear, refreshing morning. Especially after a long night of meting punishment on my heartless betrayer. <laughs> my poor battered body. You better not kill our key. You're one to talk. Better not eat the boy. He's your precious key now. I know. Oh? Huh? You're facing the Shepherd and an Empyrean. Old Shepsy's one thing, but Empyreans are, you know, just gods who created the world. You think you can win just by smacking it around a bit? That's no Empyrean. It's a phony. Artorius is just using a legend to control the people. Wouldn't a true god be able to do something about the demon blight? <sighs> you don't believe in Enominat? I believe there exists something people call Enominat. But it's just a Moloch that used a special art to bring the other Molochim into our world. You sound confident. I witnessed it three years ago. Well, if it's not actually a god we're against, we just might stand a chance. Of course we do. And ultimately... Our target is Artorius. I don't care about anything else. Revenge against Artorius. For her brother. Alright, Lafayette. Which way is the Empyrean's throne? Um, it was north of Logris. In the mountains up the Danan Highway. If exorcists are keeping up their inspections, they might provide us a chance to steal another Moloch. I sent my men a Sylphjay with orders to scout out the inspectors. With their information, we'll be able to plan the attack. Hmm. We can meet up at Port Zexen. That's the plan. Those Sylph Jays are handy little birds, aren't they? Not only will they always find their destination, they can make for emergency rations in a pinch. I hear grilled Sylph Jay goes rather well with a nice glass of the hard stuff. It's because of the work those birds do for us that we're able to stay one step ahead of the Abbey. Those birds are indispensable to us pirates, and we consider them a part of our crew. Don't even joke about eating them. <laughs> all right, all right. Still, I wonder how they actually do their thing. I know that carrier pigeons rely on their homing instincts, but sylph jays can locate a person wherever they are, right? They're really smart birds. I read in a book that rather than memorizing locations, they can pick up on people's wavelengths. When you send out a Sylph Jay, the bird can sense the change in your thoughts and will seek out the recipient you have in mind. I hardly ever see them in the wild. Are they a kind of Moloch or something? No, they're not Molochine. They're just an incredibly rare species native to an island in the north. It's a funny story. A chance storm sent us docking at that island. And a mother sylph jay got blown onto our ship. 
Eggs, nest, and all. Sadly, the mother bird died almost immediately. But Benwick stepped in and kept her eggs safe and warm. So that's why they're so attached to him. Usually, they're really hard to train as messenger birds, too. That's Benwick for you. He's always had a knack for things that would give other people trouble. Maybe when they hatched, they took one look at his wild hair and mistook him for their mother. You know what? They are comfortable enough with him to use his head for their nest. So you might have a point. Now that you mention it, he did ask me not to hit him on the head, because one of the sylph jays just laid her eggs. Well, if more birds are on the way, we could just eat one to see how it tastes. No! Don't even think about it! <laughs> it was worth a try. <sighs> Hello again! I'm Yenfu Amalek! Nice to meet you all! Our conversation so you know, I'm a greater Moloch. You're a greater Moloch too, Luffy said. I'm sure we'll get along great. I'm... classified as a greater Moloch? That should be no surprise. You've got a lot of power, despite your appearance. You're a greater Moloch too, aren't you, Aizen? So I've been told. But I can't say I care for measures made by folks who tether my kind. I didn't know that's what it was. I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. Just promise me you won't judge your own value from a label given to you by others. I won't. I promise. <laughs> what if that's all that gives me self-worth? They're pirates and demons. Pay them no heed. To me, you are the greatest of all. The greatest? Do you really mean it? Oh, Miss Mogulu, you're so kind! You've changed so much since I left. But you haven't changed at all. You are eternally my greatest servant. Oh, I don't want to be the greatest then. Oh, this is bad, bad. And our roster of the oblivious grows longer. It's an honor to serve as... I hear the High Priest was injured, and will be recuperating somewhere for the near future. The church is saying he was cleaning his villa when something fell off a shelf and hit him. But there's also rumors that thieves snuck into the palace and attacked him. If that's true, who could have done it? He's always been there for the people, and everyone looks up to him. What a terrible rumor. Indeed. I want to believe it's just that, a rumor. But it's got the children all frightened. Scared at all? Liar! Sis saw you crying! I'm the one who's not scared at all! If any bad guys show up, I'll handle them! Ooh, scary. I'm sure bad guys won't come near you. Something fell off a shelf? Nice. They're doing a really good job of covering this up. If it got out that the high priest was murdered, and in the castle of all places, the people would lose faith in the government. Let's pray that the High Priest Gideon makes a swift recovery. Please heal High Priest Gideon. May those who hurt High Priest Gideon be punished. Wasn't that you? Yes. <laughs> yes, it was. And.
How about that one? <laughs> I have the ability to Excellent. Wait till you see me. All right. Someone broke into the bill, is that true? Unfortunately, yes, but it seems it was just a burglar. Abby has captured the Colton and handed him over the guard. Don't worry about it now. Ah, right, I know. That's what I said. Moggy Lou. You know how to speak dog? Of course. It's Witchery 101. Wow. What's it saying? Humans always say every dog has its day, but I've never met a dog that had its own day. 
What about me? When's my time in the limelight? As you can see, he's very upset. Sorry, boy. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. You say this time. It was a math problem. It explained that one plus one is two. <laughs> A dog is teaching the other dog all sorts of things, didn't you know? I promise it was so long. Crafting. Dunk. Ordering silence regarding the incident. Abby wishes to handle it internally, then is this. Who is this? Hey, you're right. Wait. That way, how the higher priest name will remain unharmed. So how's it going over there? Dealing with cavens. You sound like you're having a blast. Loves cave ends, guys. If you have a nice walk together, he wants to run all the time, so he ended up dragging me the whole way. I'm exhausted. Ha! Sounds like he had your work cut out for you. With a little practice, I'm sure you can train him. I'll give it my best. Let me head back to. Oh, so these are oh my goodness. There's oh, that's a lot of money. receive a discount. Need warriors for until it allows the use of martial art right to teeth under certain Yeah, seriously. I know, come on. What's this dog saying? Humans always say, let sleeping dogs lie. But do you ever let me nap? No. Stop all the petting and let me sleep. I mean, come on. Practice what you preach. That's what I always say. You humans are all bark and no bite. As you can see, she has a lot of criticism for the systematic injustices practiced by a hypocritical and tyrannical human society. That is one astute doggy. <laughs> yep, yep. What did that mean? Practice self-empowerment. So he said, yeah, I can do it. Yes, I can. There's an awful lot of soldiers around. Train considering the ceremony's over. Now how plus I can get used to this. Hands off. I have my eyes on first. No, you don't talk about the music. Pardon me. Could you could keep it down a bit? What? By what? What? You said you love cavens. You want more of them? That's what I heard. You said. I ought to be young like that again. I love your music. Please teach me how to play. Teach me everything you know. Huh? Well, if you want. Hey, I remember you. I'd never forget someone dressed as weird as you guys. <laughs> You're those traveling misfits. The ones who did that job act in Logris. Mad Lou's Menagerie, right? It's Moggy Lou's Menagerie. Get it right or pay the price. So, you saw us in Logris? That's right. I was there on Port Zexon business. I really looked forward to seeing you perform, but it never happened. 
But today's my lucky day. How about performing here in Port Sexton tomorrow? I want to see that sullen girl go coo again. It was hilarious. And that magician's dove trick, too. <laughs> sure, but I'll have you know we don't come cheap. Oh, I've got the money. I'd pay anything to see that again. No. Oh, come on. Please? Take a hint. Hey, now, don't be like that. Sorry, friend. Best give it up. Otherwise, my apprentice here might show you a special trick she's been itching to practice. One where she makes you disappear. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds fun. Do it. If you insist. But just a warning. There's no guarantee you'll make it back. Still want to try? Wait, seriously? Seriously. And remember, it's Moggy Lou's menagerie. See you at our next show. I love how that happened. Right? Well, this guy says that he saw us at the other thing, right? Magic to make me vanish. Not sure, entirely sure if I want to see that. But he's talking, right? He's like, Oh, I saw you guys at Logrex. You guys do a show here in Port Zekrum? He's in Logris right now, where I'm talking to him. Fort Zekrum is where I'm supposed to be going. He's not where he's supposed to be. He's here in Logris. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's talking about a place that he's not at. <laughs> like he's actually there. You can go inside, but you won't be able to get into the villa from here anymore. Fair enough. More copper coins. Someone's. I'm angry because I was doing so good to not have any issue with it. Someone's been feeding stray cats here, I know it. Now there are droppings all over the garden. What is a stray cat? A friend without a home, I say. Yeah, you were doing so good with it, and then you fucked it all up. Yeah. What'd you do different? Uh, nothing. That doesn't sound right. To make a quick confession to the Imperium. I broke one of my little brother's toys. Um, certainly, Imperium will forgive you. As soon as you go and apologize to your brother. Alright, I can apologize for eating all the cakes while I'm at it. I still love how powerful this music is for no reason. In the church? Yep. Do you hear it? It is, actually. So I'm afraid the High Priest will be, ho will be holding services for a while. I'm dreadfully sorry. If he isn't well, it's entirely understandable. We'll pray for his recovery. and repent to your wicked deeds. Are you talking to me, perchance? I am. You look so deeply sinful, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Now confess! Oh, how long have I waited to bear my soul to someone? But I've always lacked the courage. Praise be to the Empyreans who have bestowed upon me this chance today! Ah, your devotion to the Empyreans is most... No! It is you who has captured my devotion, my darling! There's no one else I want but you! What? M me But my life is in service to the Empyreans, I... Hush! I want you to look at me the way I look at you! Hold me, darling! Smother me in your embrace! Uh, I don't... I... I... Those were the kind of lines I read in a romance novel. 
It wasn't even that exciting a book. I wasted so many hours with that piece of trash. Please forgive me for not putting myself to better use. Ah! Lying to a priest! How could you? Oh no, I meant to confess my sins, but instead my confession was another sin! Forgive me, Father, I've transgressed once more. I don't want to forgive you! <laughs> Not to be a heart of a priest. I expedition for her. Wow. I knew this would be big. What a treasure! Alright. Did seem quite a treasure. Scout ship setting sail. Now I know what the treasures are for. Wait, I wonder if that's one of the other treasures. It is one of them. She's so pretty. Statue pulled up from the Xbeer Sea depicting a beautiful goddess. Figure is imbued with a mysterious energy that causes it to gradually move over time. See, the game made the statue about you. Oh my god. You're so gay. An image of the goddess Martel. Takes many forms across several mythologies, but always is the guardian of the world tree. Really? Aye. According to legend, the tree stands at the center of the world and produces life energy. Martel watches over the tree alongside the spirits that dwell within it. See, yeah, I'd like to meet this goddess someday. Well, well, Lafayette, I didn't know you were into older girls, huh? Older girls? Huh? There's no need to be ashamed. It's the phase most boys go through at one time or another. All right. I still can't believe it goes from literally this to that. Like the difference is crazy. I want to see the ocean. Let's go to the harbor. It says pretty, pretty, please. Sorry, it's too dangerous. There's demons along the road, even close to the city. Oh, that's no fun. Wants to see the ocean, eh? He wants to see the ocean so bad, we'll make her swim with the fishes, see? There are a lot of patrols, but something happened just a minor incident at the palace. So extra security and precaution. No need to worry. Can dogs really catch demon blade? Yeah, I've heard of it happening to animals. If this guy turned into a demon, it'd be worse than my girlfriend turning in. Come on, man. Talking like that's only going to get you in hot water. Oh, yes. Dog combo. What's that? Oh, that statement could shake the very foundation of man's relationship with his self-professed best friend. Huh? What did he just say? Humans call us man's best friend, but they consort with the foul felines. The hound may be faithful, but not the man. He quietly stated, a look of betrayal in his eyes. That's a shock. I didn't know dogs felt that way about us. You jealous dog, you. Our humans are only better than apes because they give me food. Otherwise, they're awful. Made that up, didn't you? That's what it said. It's all about subtility, I tell you. Give the punchers a show. It's just a little better than yesterday. Keep doing that. You're on the road to success. Just a bit better. Got it. Oh, they added a chest in here. Oh no, they didn't add it to us and never abandoned the fragment. 30 of 99 of them, so I don't need it. Lord Artorius' speech really struck a chord with me. I'm sure everyone else in town feels the same way. Actually, 
It would be problematic if they don't. Why would you have a problem with that? One word, lady. Business. The ceremony to move the great Empyrean Anomenot is going on now, right? After a speech as moving as that, anyone would want to offer a prayer to the new Empyrean. Which is why I'm selling commemorative chalices. They've just come in from Port Zexon. Oh, Anomenot's hey, blessings are many indeed. Are you decorating the chalices with anything? I'm just about to deliver them to the craftsmen to get them engraved. I just hope all this effort doesn't go to waste. Impossible. This is the perfect opportunity. I guess amateurs just don't get it. <laughs> I may not know business, but I know how this story ends. Artorius, the ceremony, all of it. I'll end this by my own hand. What a wonderful business idea. Selling secret challenges at the throne. Think about it. The buyers will be moved. The happy will become even more popular. I'll be rich. Everyone comes out a winner. Pretty savvy, don't you think? I feel sorry, so. Man, I've been feeling really out of it recently. I was much happier when I was drinking sweet, sweet nectar. It suddenly got a lot harder to get. The price shot up 20 times in the black market. I came to the capital hoping it'd be easier to find, but no one's got any. Give it up. It's got vermilion ore in it. What? Vermilion ore? I heard that stuff is crazy addictive. Real bad news. It'll be easier to quit now that it's harder to find. Real sailors don't need that crap, right? Yeah, you're right. I don't need nectar. From now on, I'm going to the bar after work. Hey, buddy, thanks for the tip. All right, these days I struggle to fall asleep without a nighttime tipple. Let us take the same vow as Lord Artorius to offer our lives in service to the people. We'll join you. Let our combined strength overwhelm disaster and reclaim peace and prosperity. with the scouts at Port Zexon. What? Oh no. Did they reorder this? Laffy said. Hold R with three or more souls will stand still during your combo to activate. Has all damage taken for five seconds. After which, help her restore for all eyes. This ability not only protects Lafayette, except for Carrios, in fact, can help the entire party. Oh, he finally got his break soul. On to battle! Statistics, elements, and status ailments interact in various ways. Examples include, but are not limited to, the suffering from reduced attack are four times more likely to get inflicted with paralysis. Those suffering from reduced era, heart attack are four times more likely to get inflicted with verdict. <sighs> Enemies weak to earth are twice as easily slowed. Enemies with water cannot be poisoned. Enemies with resistance to wind cannot be inflicted with reduced focus. Worried that it might be new confusing to suddenly give give him control of a new character following the switch blast. The set performs two switch blasts in a row to allow you to keep controlling the original character. 
and a single combo switch blast can only be followed by another switch blast or a mystic art. Hidden art, element attack, malak art, malak art from all five elements it makes him useful in any situation, but he has those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In any case. Alright, I guess we'll see how Aizen works. Ah, oh, finally back to the character. I'll finish it. I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. Holding out while performing a switch blast while breaking soul conditions for the character to finger fill. Cause the character to combo into a break soul instead. By skillfully using this launch of counter attack, you may be able to gain the upper hand in otherwise disastrous situations. What's the matter, Luffy said? You look like you're not feeling well. Doesn't he always? You can stay out of this. You're a demon swordsman. Aizen is a cursed Moloch. Magilu is a bizarre witch. But... What am I? <laughs> Turning existential here. You're Velvet's tool and emergency rations, aren't you? That's what Lady Teresa called me too. A tool... But... I'm alive! Ah, uh, I get it. You're starting to wonder what your place in the world is. In that case, there's only one answer. You have to decide it. Huh? It's all up to you. It depends on what you want. That's what it means to be alive. You control the rudder of your life. Your hands on the wheel. My life. My rudder. Doubts are okay, too. They're just further proof you're alive. I'll protect you until you find your answer. Your arts have helped me often enough. All right. I don't really understand. But thank you. Pretty, pretty words and all. But take care who you listen to, kid. Demons and Reapers, remember? I hear there's a wicked witch about, too. Get going or get left behind. For now, let our rudders take us forward! <laughs> well, how about that one? That was indeed something. It won't change anything. Oh yeah, I forgot. Master Alice. That's all he's got left. Oh, my God. 
It was a close one, but I am the victor. Amber doll, uh huh? Huh? Done with her regular. Are uh, headed back. Lordship is Artorius. Aye, he's the man to guide us indeed. With the new temple to the Epirian in Nominat, we will see a new age of peace. Ah, huh. only fools call other people fools. Fine, fine, that's how reason works. I, I take it all back. They're pretty logical if you think about it, right? Serving aboard such a magnificent vessel, the dream come true for any sailor. Some dreams turn out to be nightmares. Did you hear about the Royal Medical Society being attacked by demons? How could they attack doctors on a mission of mercy? Demons really are a heartless monster. Ever since I saw the shepherd's speech, I've been praying towards the Empyrean throne in the north. Great Empyrean Inominat suppress the blight of demons and delivers from human sin. The Abbey's new temple is being built to the north along Danan Highway. You can't visit it yet, but they'll open it to the public on the dawn of the day it's complete. Calcite fragment. Thankfully, an exorcist happened along and directed the efforts to put out the fire. If it weren't for her, a lot more than the storehouse would have burned. Burning a church warehouse and not crime will be easily forgiven, but it might likely go installed.
Have you heard the news? Alfred's pirates broke through Vertigern. Damnation, if only I'd known that earlier, I could have made a small fortune. To get new items, too. Sugar! Bog standard sugar, really sweet. Used in Berker's Palmier. Legend says it's originated in a secluded village lost to time. It's in Mabo Curry Bun. Strange carrot that looks like a Norman. Fresh squeezed Norman carrot. That's straight to the point on that one. Norman carrot used a squeezed Norman carrot. Amazing. Have anything new? Did the Sylph J reach your men? Yeah, they're scouting the checkpoints. They're not back yet? No, but they won't be long. Let's rest for a bit. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. We'll rest until the scouts are back then. What, what, why? Oh my god. Carrots, we sent for. Our very best, they know what they're doing. Security must be really tight if it's giving them a hard time. Oh, no there. way! You managed to get some? Shh, idiot! Not so loud! Behold, the finest drink there is, Ilyanya Red! If Benwick and the others find out we have it, they'll drink the whole thing. Wait, you didn't tell them about it? Of course not! Those guys couldn't care less what they stuffed down their gullets, as long as it gets the job done. The subtle notes of this exquisite libation would be lost on those louts. Well said. Now I believe some Rucarella cheese would compliment this Ilyanya nicely. We'll have to hide the bottle until we can get our hands on some. Heh, <laughs> leave that to me. Wow, talk about oblivious. Just sharpen my blade. Mind if I test it on your tail? Of course I do. You're the monster to fight monsters with, I tell you. It wants me to go that way. There's a Magu. Down with this one. Today's ended peacefully enough, at least. After I heard the storehouse burned down, I was afraid this place would end up like hell of a But it wasn't as bad as it could have been. There's still no explanation, is there? None. After hearing about what happened to Helvies, I feel lucky to be alive. Abby's new temple is through the north gate, but it isn't open to the public. You can't go through without permission. That's when you go watch me and you break his ankles. <laughs> Whenever I try to fry up squid, it explodes on me. I'm just no good on it. This is a serious problem. I love fried squid. I think it is a, a serious problem. There we go. Exploding. Fully stocked and ready to sail. Great. We set sail the moment the scouts get back. Stay here and be ready to go at a moment's notice. Aye, aye. There's no telling what'll happen at the Empyrean's throne. Be ready for the worst. Is there something worse than being around you, first mate? <laughs> Just be ready. Aye, aye, aye. Anything goes wrong, send a Sylph J, and we'll come running. Be ready for the worst, huh? The scouts take much longer. We'll need to try another tack. Something could have happened to them. Just thinking about Lord Artorius's preach. Brings a tear to my eye. Take good care of the skipper, Velvet. He may be level-headed, but he can explode like packed powders. How does it burn? 
be like that. That's the Benwick too. See the bird? They're talking about this okay. On his head. Yeah, because it nests in his head. Hair. Yeah. I gave the boy an apple, too. Aren't I the kindest girl alive? An apple. Would you like one? This time, I want you to crow like a No, thank you. Miss? Are you really planning to fight Artorius? Well, the boy did ask me so sweetly. But, but you'd have no chance! Are you defying me? Did the old man give you orders? Not at all! Then you're coming with me. If things get too hot, we can run. And if we die, then... That's that! I know! You're a quick one, little Bienfu. But I do hope you'll struggle as long as possible. I need you around for when I'm bored, after all. Looking for the boy. He was walking in the direction of that pier up ahead. How do I get to... Genfu? There we go. Run apple. With my allowance. Getting the allowance, I could lose a lot more thoughtful than Don. Although she did take my apple away after I bought it. <laughs> Here, the fellow that was guarding the storehouse is going to be harshly punished. What did you expect? He let himself be fooled and the whole place was destroyed. Stuff in there hadn't belonged to the bird. Facing compensation charges, too. Nothing beats seeing the sun set over the ocean. After all these I whoever decided to call this world desolation must never imagine such sight. Although it's true the terrible monsters roam on the painted sky. Terrible monsters. Got that right. Already got him. Time to talk to luck. He's got two apples. Is it good? It's tart and yet sweet. No, thanks. I wouldn't be able to taste it anyway. Oh. You sure like the sea? I... I'm afraid of the sea. The waves. Sharks. All the strange fish. But at the same time, it's huge and full of wonder. When I let myself think about what might be over the horizon, it's exciting. My brother, he loved the sea, too. Your brother? Really? He'd sit on the cape, just staring at it. I told him he'd catch cold in that ocean wind, but he never listened to a word I said. Your way of looking at the world is so much like his. I Still wish... doesn't know. I wish I bought him that compass. I wish we could have traveled together like he wanted. The Malakim still doesn't know that he actually like as close hey! as possible. Hey, the scouts are back, everyone. Old torn version. Luffy said, "You know you don't have to do this if you don't want to." Cause it hurts her. I. It brings her great pain to even get I'm him going sometimes. with you, Velvet. Because it's like she still has her brother, but she doesn't. I see. Because he's the exact same. Looks the exact same. Everything. But he's not.
The expedition returns. Attachment. Any loyalty. Uh. Oh, uh, Ashton. Ah, there. Mini Lloyd. Say he was using a pendulum? Aye, sir. And he blasted all the inspectors. I think he'd be a match for even the captain. Thank you. I'll look into this for myself. Hold it. What's going on? The Exorcist inspection team was attacked by a pendulum wielding Moloch. The same type of weapon was found at the place the captain vanished from. And so you think the attacker is the one who took the captain? I don't know. But this can't be coincidence. Eifried is in the custody of exorcists. Why would they attack their own? What will you do? One of your keys is running off. I'm going after him. If they're already in disarray, causing more confusion will only benefit us. Pandemonium! My favorite! I know, I know. Heading out. Eisen sure picked an inconvenient time to run off, though, didn't he? I can't blame him. He's got his own purpose. We could barely get near the place. That guy just charges right through. Watch your back. That Moloch is a real piece of work. Over in a flash, Moloch just sauntered up, knocked out the guard, and went through the gates. Fair enough. Upcoming big red monster. At least the ones I would. Uh, they're dangerous and they give me rewards. Ah, here we go. It's the White Turtle Shop. Welcome to the White Turtle's General Store. Wait here. Oh, we meet again. We need to resplay. Just look last time. Look last time shop at prices like that. I'm sunk. Might as well catch it while it's on sale anyway.
even discount receipt wizard's venite. The character has learned a derivative of an active or form by pressing and holding the mystic art button during the casting. need them where the command have the wind ring oh all righty Just saved it. I will save it again because I don't want to have to do that over again. Time. I'll finish this portion. Wait, no, he did. Appreciate it. 
I know he's gonna be weak as shit, but. Got a master. But he's got a master, you know? All the equipment. How it's working. That way we can be super strong later on with all those passive effects. No, oh, babe. Stop fooling around. But I'm serious about my fooling around. I'll say. Pretty sure he doesn't know. Keep the. He does not have replacement boots. You're good, whoever you are. I'm Aizen, the Reaper, and Eifried's first mate. A buddy of Eifried's? Oh, this'll be too good. So you are the one who took Captain Eifried from us. Oh, yeah, that's the spirit, pal. Aizen, calm yourself. He's a Moloch, and he's against the Abbey. If we work together, we can pass the barrier. Don't give me your peacemaking crap. I'm settling this my way. Right here, right now. Stay out of this! I see. Well, two can play at that game. I'll handle this in my way. I'll beat you both until you're helpless. Then open that barrier. Why does it have to be like this? Be quiet and help Velvet. Otherwise, she'll bite our heads off. True. Forgive us, Aizen. Yeah. Zero Thunder! So, what's your plan after you punch through this barrier? Kill the shepherd. Damn, that's a new one. She's dead serious. 
All right, all right. You won the fight. What do you want me to do? Are you ready, my merry little Malakim? Now, line up before the barrier. Oh! Rest is up to you. I just want to see the panic on the exorcist's faces. Hold it. I still have questions for you. That's enough for now, Aizen. If you persist, one of us will end up dead. <clears throat> Who are you? Tell me. Zavid the Whirlwind. A fighter, nothing more. The barrier is gone. I won't stop you from going after him. No. I walk with you. Besides, Melchior is still my surest link to Eifried's whereabouts. <laughs> Could have saved a lot of trouble if you'd listened to me from the start. If I had good judgment, I wouldn't be where I am in the first place. You really are a fool. Means one man characters for has been in five total five times or more. Provides the ability to trigger random burn related. Aizen? I'm sorry about earlier. The fight, you mean? Don't worry about it. I'll hate you until I'm in the grave, though. Uh. A jest. I just... I didn't know what I should do. It's fine to take your time to decide. But as with everything, the choice is ultimately your own. And if your choice leads to killing me, I won't complain. Yeah. But by the same token, it might end up with me killing you. Yeah, I guess so. Ugh, I talk too much. That's a veed bastard. It's got me all riled up. That was a crazy fight. I love how they tried to skip that all. Teleporting me all, all the way up here? Just unconscious. I still love that, you know that? There's two characters that have things in their thing. Your beads are here. Twin spirits is her start there. Zero times you. And literally, uh, Lapa sets the same way with Triflare. He'll use everything else except Triflare. Hasn't used Lighthouse. And at first, I thought it was just because of, like, what Lafi said. I thought it was because of the, like, you know, tosses and ignites him up. Left and up will make him spread left. Right and down will make him spread right, right? But there's other characters that have that. This, Ter Terran's Horn, used 560 times. So the AI has no problem using those types of techniques. It just chooses a fighter, not, not a killer, huh? Up. 
I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. We're finished here. Oh, my ex 
bit different now. Take it. Monster Matter. Done with it. Just need to pull Scout ship that setting is. sail. It's you. You're the last material. Well, I already got you. Remember the goddess statue. That she should calm the fuck down. How about that? Where are you going? Who taught you you could? Ridiculous. You won't get any pity or compassion from me. Die, 
you don't even get like a little bit of it up. So I'm able to just get punched and just dodge right off the rip. Did you see my Finally complete got... and utter victory? Did you? Right. What'd you say? I blame the way they fucking decided to fucking tell me about that. Apparently I can't sub back out. Because like I subbed from Rodoku, Aizen's ultimate. I went to swap back, but you can only swap back at the character that ha has, that is there, as a BG. So he still needs to fight for a little bit before he can swap back. And I didn't know that. That screwed me for like most of the fight. Fuck Aizen. Got too much low fucking. You should unmute by the way. I just did. How about that? How about that? Well, you should did earlier. How about them apples? Wait, yo. I did it now. Is everything master so you can go wear the regular with Yeah, see, those are what I was talking about, by the way. I'll finish this quickly. And I think I would fight. That's a gyro. Basically, if the fight doesn't reach the end, I have a chance to encounter one. That's by far the worst one, though. Because that's the one that has. I'm not joking about that other thing. Everybody tried when I was running or whatever. But those two little dodo things that are running around in that fight are literally invincible. They can't take damage. They're literally just there to stun you randomly so the boss can combo. But yeah, not, <laughs> it's not very fun, let me tell you. But we did it. The guards are all Malachim. They really do keep humans away from here. But why build a new temple out here? The shepherd could build in the capital just as easily. This place. You feel it too? There's powerful energy flowing underground. Right. This is a focal point of the Earth Pulse, the natural energy of the land. The perfect spot to worship Inominat. Hmm. <laughs> or to attack him. I thought I ordered no one to enter. F forgive me. I would not have intruded, but there was an incident at the villa in Logres. Eleanor, where are your mother, King? They... they were eaten by the left arm of a demon. Velvet. What? You know of her? She was a student of mine. So she has bested Oscar, Teresa, and now you. Lord Artorius, I ask that you grant me fresh Malachim. I vow to destroy that demon. You are overcome with emotion. Will you fight a demon with your hatred? P please, I beg you to forgive my foolishness. She broke the resolve of even an exemplary disciple like you. My lord, if I may, there is but one thing I must ask. 
why is there a giant demon held captive at the villa? Entry to that place is forbidden to all but legates, Eleanor. He was restrained by a Moloch barrier. How could such a monstrous thing like that be held in the capital? Eleanor, why is it you think that birds fly? Uh-oh. Huh? He's in trouble. He said that before. It's so they can hunt and catch prey, is it not? <laughs> you are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. <sighs> So Velvet is coming. The ties that bind us must at last be severed. Yeah, no, he asked that bird question. Hmm. Just before the fighter he doesn't sacrificed seem to be hiding anywhere brother. nearby. I sensed him rush away. That's because they speed. do or something. Zavi the whirlwind, huh? He was tough. He seemed to know Ifrid, too. What's the story there? I don't know. Ask him. He used a pendulum as a weapon. When we first met Aizen, he said something about a pendulum, didn't he? It was the only clue he had in his search for Ifrid. I'm surprised at how far he's come on something so vague. Does Savid have something to do with Ifrid's disappearance? I don't think this Savid is a killer. I didn't feel it in him at all. I have a feeling we might cross paths again. He is tangled with the Abbey somehow. He... didn't seem that bad to me. Yeah, he seems like a guy who would be hard to hate. Hate him or not, if he gets in our way, he's in for a beating. Now that's what a killer looks like! <laughs> now that's what a killer looks like. I'll be right back, Kate.
Alrighty guys. I They were nothing. All right, you bastard. All right. Look, a burning dash. Combat suit best suited for sprightly nail flight. Feeling that if somebody put, was strong enough to put up these pictures and stuff, right? What was that? Some sort of contrivance using Moloch arts. That probably part of their security Artoria system. Artorias should I'd know say. where they're coming from. Obviously. Because like we you should would keep our eyes open disturbing. for any more surprises. Right? Like if you're the one that put up the barrier, I feel like you'd be like, oh shit, the barrier just dropped over that way. All right. Ah, pirate flag nameless. There we go. We're done with that there. Of one special here. So Scout ships. That. Nail that up. Alright. You'll be rushed on my kill. their prettiness even on the bed of it. Made by, as it happens, a woman who survived on her looks. <laughs> oh, really, now? Still gonna work in the natural way. Does he have any of Nice. He's still working on and just like on to the cute shoes. That one's cute. Okay. I got a lot of things. Okay. Is that an armadillo? How dare you just call it a delusionary road? That's just rude. I believe that. 
Oh, maybe they are just The silver made it look like they were wearing shells. They definitely are not wearing shells. I don't know if I can call it a rotor. It looks like a so mad about this. Okay, so the way this is going to have to work, I'm just going to have to do it like this. And I know it's going to bother some people because form 2 comes before form 1. But it's because it that's a trap that knocks everything up so it allows the others. <sighs> it allows for the setup. That is a ladder. I love their ladder. I mean, this is the area I'm gonna be coming back in. See this? 
These are deadly weapons. <laughs> what will it take to be? I ain't Sorry to cut you down. Did you think you could escape me? Hold up! 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 Hold up!
Your style is really unique. Just wait until I This way no, bring out the good stuff.
to next. Dexter showed me that one. <laughs> I hadn't loaded one of the two rocks that the fucking thing was hidden in between. Huh? You gonna, um, unmute? That way I can actually hear you? Yeah. Well, now you know. Knowing. And knowing. Thank you. But yes, I'm glad you noticed that what I noticed about how the fucking texture totally revealed that to me. Like it was, it was just like, okay, I'm heading back, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, there's an item over there, is there? I like the big groups of those capsules. Really helped me stay on above the fucking. Do these chests cost like normal like 80 or above? <laughs> Oh, 
10 health. Another 10 from health. I have like 100 more health. Second highest health character with 5 health. Aizen? Yeah, man, didn't you know? I got Aizen with me, bro. I can't do shit. Unless they have E2. Then it becomes a problem. But so far, I haven't seen one, so. Could be pretty safe. My expedition. Did you finish the damn place? Ooh, a perfect win. Did not finish it. That was a nice Scout win either way. Sail. Another. Three of them. multiple characters are kind of later on. Return! So this time it's an unkillable fire lady. Actually, ow! Other than getting stunned by the actual boss, oh, twice. Twice. I'm getting close. I won't miss. Form zero. Send up. 
didn't even fucking hit anyone. Like he literally got interrupted from the attack and I still got hit by him. Left, instantly fucking hits me, stuns me, and everything. Like, I hate how broken his fucking hitbox He doesn't even have to do anything. The bosses literally just don't do as much as this one fucking dire bro. Like, the other dire bro? Easy as fuck. He attacks and hurts, but at least his hitbox works. This guy's just like, oh, I swing with a frontward punch. Auto hit everything in range. And even out of range.
Okay. We'll turn it. He was almost dead. Still almost dead. It's just that now he's got fucking four fucking. This team is just how much he's fucking stunning it. The only real problem about his fucking bullshit hitbox is the fact that every time he gets one of those, he takes an attack away from one of us automatically. He gains one of himself. Put the little blue diamond on. So every time he bullshittingly stuns somebody like that. Because don't get me wrong, his whole gimmick is that he's stunned. So like getting hit makes sense. But when I don't actually get hit, I'd rather not have it say that I did. Yes. made this fucking dire folk to just fuck off. It's so fair that he can do whatever he wants.
dude literally has no fucking health left and he's gonna win. Just because of the way this game is bullshittingly giving him all the hits. Literally can't do anything because his idea is to spam spells. Alive long enough though for a swap. Oh, come move. The swing fucking lofty set the other one right now. He literally has no health. Like, literally, if they land a hit, I'm gonna lose because of how bullshit he is. If anything. Just have a guy that can insta stun even if he doesn't actually make contact with you. He also does 600 damage a hit, so that's fair too, right? Scout ship said. Hey, fuck, I'm not even complaining about the difficulty. I'm just fucking broken. It. Be different if like every hit he swung actually hit me. I'd be fine with that. Cause he at least made contact with me, but when the fucking fist is four inches to my fucking left, dude. Like fuck, if I tried to do what he did, I wouldn't hit anything. Ever. Now I gotta go collect all this stupid shit again. And it doesn't help that he does have those invisible guardians. Fuck you, mother and high father. Wow. What'd you do to Ducky? I don't know. <laughs> he seems to disagree. Hello, oh, little ducky, how you doing today? You put me in the corner for no reason. What? I haven't put him in any. Unarmed. Hard How hard. could you do that, Mr. Ducky? I, I can't believe you right now. The pain. He's just trying to tear the family apart, didn't you know? I'll end this Don't worry, he's been avoiding me too. I mean, avoiding me? 
Destroying plant Minecraft is fine. What is it four days? Well, that she about screamed does it. with me. She's depriving you guys of her. Just because. And I can say just because, because for the first three days, she didn't even make any progress on the game. She was just avoiding to avoid at that point. I was just drinking water, then she picked me up, then throwing me in the corner. Rude! Why can't he drink water, huh? He can drink water! Apparently not. Apparently not with you around. It's so rude. I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry, mother abuses you by not letting you drink water. Apparently, I mean, hey, he's the one saying. It. We're finished here. He Let's would go. know, right? Okay. I'm I gotta stop doing so while our dire foe's gonna show up again. The worst part about dire foes is that they only invade me when I'm doing well in other fights. That's a hard. That's a cute. I will admit though, that's only what, like the second time I've lost the game since turning up the difficulty. True. But to be fair, dude, I'm not joking about that monkey, because even two difficulty levels lower at normal, he almost beat me when I first had to fight him, when they first introduced Dire Foes. Like, I'd much rather fight the Puppeteer. Puppeteer is still difficult, but at least he doesn't have a broken hitbox for himself. That's all I'm mad about. I hate, I hate it so much. That's the reason why I don't really like fucking Overwatch. Overwatch was like, oh yeah, broken hitbox? I got you, pal. You can hit somebody's head from almost six inches to the left or right. Why? Just because. That's when I sit there like, what the fuck? And you know you've waited too long, right? It's already eight. <laughs> you know, all you had, you even got up. I've gotten up yet. You got up to use the bathroom. Yeah, yes, you have.
did not one yet. And that's what's so bad about that. You could have made yourself a snack then, but then you like I don't know. Rather suffer. Well, good thing you don't believe in. Because uh, he'd be very angry for lies. ourselves right now. Unfortunately. Not a dog, but hey. <laughs> We're dealing with it. It's yeah. either the rodent or the blinker. Uh, he's done with all of it. like that bro. you mean <laughs> is dope right babe do you even know we're talking which no man Had to make sure. Alright, let's get rid of this fucking barrier. Damn, save it. How is it now, Eisen? Hmm. I feel like whatever you did caused some sort of change. Let's just pray they can't change it back anytime soon. I'll pass on the praying. I've come here to make a mess of this temple, remember? Ooh, you've got spunk. I like that. As long as you know what you're doing then. You got spunk. I like that. <laughs> it bothers me so much. Maggie Lou. He be villain, exactly. Villain like a villain. Damn, how far is he about to come out? <laughs> so it had to have been the boar. Because that thing makes that weird whining sound.
minutes. Fuck. That, so I won't have to fucking grab everything. Now dire phones are fine. For the moment. <laughs> Another herb? That's a lot of fucking spares. Blade she's got in her arm. Ooh. Yeah, I know, right? It's not too bad. <laughs> we don't talk about that. They're up there, right? Laffy's that too. It's not quite here. That's the hat. And, and every character has one of them in a different color and style. Everything. That's the main one so far. I mean, he does have this, but I feel like he looks better in his priest clothes. For sure. So, so far, he's not a villain. He's a chill guy. Nah, man. I'm an overlord. I'm telling you, that's one of my overseers. No man is very villain. He be chilling right now, but I'll be playing it. Velvet, what is Artorius's method of fighting? He wields a long sword in his left hand, and he once had a Moloch named Ceres who used fire. Had, but I killed her. And since then, he's tethered a new Moloch called Enominat to use in her place? As far as I know, yes. But I can't imagine a new Moloch will work with him as well as Ceres did. Must be pleasant to always assume the best. If I'm wrong, that's where all of you come in. The four of you will strain his tether to the Moloch. Or then like I'll chew through guy. it. <laughs> At which point Artorius becomes nothing more than a simple human. But how will you get close to him in the first place? I'll use Lafayette's arts. He will cut me. He will burn me. And I will keep charging forward. Your job is to keep healing me so that I can stay on my feet. A sacrificial assault then. Oh, it's not a bad plan. There's a good chance you'll catch him off guard. If you don't immediately die. But, but Velvet, you'll... That's an order. Uh, Alright. So in the end, you're still just a tool to her. Bet that hurts. Oh, bad. Miss Moggy Lou, does that demon velvet really mean to kill Shepard Artorius? What is she thinking? 
I can't say. Perhaps she's not thinking at all. No, she said something about him killing someone. She said it during his speech, right? I heard her too. She has some feud with Artorias. Her hate for him flows deep. I wonder what her connection to Lord Artorias is. Don't call him Lord. Trust me. What? You'll understand when the time comes. If she's still alive to face Artorias, that is. Precisely. The fires of her hatred are all consuming. Who will they burn in the end? Hmm? I love how they have absolutely no idea. They know an inkling because it's she mentioned. It's a dangerous path we walk. Right? But a debt is a debt. Mm -hmm. Come but along, they don't Wafisa. know who. He okay. And they don't know her. Con who, which are two very big important factors. Because she's literally Artorius' daughter. And that Sarah's that she was talking about, that he was like, that he had as Malak, was his wife. He's here. What? Yep. That's who she said, that's who he sacrificed first. There was only two events like that for him to gain power. He sacrificed his wife first, told everybody she was sick and died, random disease. And then exactly one year later, he did it again at the same moon with his son. But his daughter tried to get involved, so he ended up having to fucking throw her into the pit, became a Therian. Which is a demon that feasts on demons. And then he became the savior of the world. So yes. There's a reason her hatred runs so fucking deep. He's literally taking everything from her. And then just taking credit for being like the nicest guy on the planet. It would be very difficult, especially if you had demon powers like that. It'd be kind of hard not to be like, oh, well, I'm gonna go kill him then. <laughs> Holy shit. It's very white and white and blue. Go. I'm quite sure this isn't going to be the end. Let's see how it goes. Artorius! Demons and Malachim. Unlikely companions, to say the least. Ceres is here too. In my stomach. So you chose to be a mother bird, Ceres. Things will be different this time. I will have my revenge. <laughs> revenge for Lapiset! Very well. It is time. Oh, shit. So this is the shepherd's style. Boy, howdy, are we dead? But he has... No Remember the plan. The right. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We're doing nothing.
Never let your guard down, even when victorious. I will not let you win so easily. I will use my full strength, as is just and proper. Aid me, Innominat! His wounds have vanished! Such power... Is it really? That is cheating! <laughs> why, why do I... I remember you. That night. That terrible night. I beg your pardon, Lord Artorius. I had assumed Master Shigure was attending you. The failure is mine. Oh. Shigure is out training. Besides, that man would like to see my blood spilled more than anyone. Same as ever. Eh, he thinks only of himself. Look what happened with Ifrid. So you are Melchior. No, Artorius. The one who most wants to spill your blood. It's me! Master Artorius, allow me to quiet this demon. <sighs> Out of my way! Learn your place, you abominable demon! Doesn't it hurt? Aren't you in pain? Why, Velvet? Why do you go on fighting? Because... Luffy sent me so much more pain than I ever will. And still, I... I couldn't do anything for him. Sorry. I'm sorry. Velvet. Colluding with demons. Number two, your punishment must be severe. Kill the demon. Then, end your own life. No. Have you forgotten our pact? Your mistress is giving you an order. power reacting with the Earth Pulse. Extraordinary. I begin to see. Still, giving your brother's name to a Moloch. You've strayed so far. Coming from you. Velvet, wake up. Oh, just let me sleep a little more, Celica. You rascal. Don't you remember the task I entrusted you with? The task? Yes. I asked you to take care of him.
Where am I? Did they... kill me? My wounds are gone. Fever. Uh, please don't die, Velvet. You saved my life. Now it's my turn to save you. We've got to get out of here. Oh, no. oh my ex ex Another different loot. Pretty cold to mention the blues and greens. Just hang in there, Luffy said. The exit should be around here somewhere. this place anyway. Where's the exit? What the hell is this place? It's an Earth Pulse. So you survived. Let's not count our blessings just yet. It looks like we've been sealed inside. But at least we're still alive. Can't say the same would be true if we stayed in that place. An Earth Pulse. So that's what this is. Yeah. 
It's like a river flowing with nature's life energy. Earth pulses can be found all over the world, but normally you can't see or interact with them. Then how'd we wind up inside one? When Inominat and Lafisette's power collided, the shock must have torn it open. If that's the case, it's possible that Lafisette possesses the power to return us home, but... Uh... He can't do much in this state. He's liable to turn into a demon any moment now. Don't talk like that! Is this because he overused his powers? It's not too late to stop it. If a Moloch occupies a pure vessel, he can be prevented from transforming into a demon. Even you? This lucky coin is my vessel. There's a catch to this one, though. It can only serve as a vessel for someone with the Reaper's powers. Then that's no help at all. An exorcist would work. We offer our own bodies as vessels for Malachim, so that we can use them for the Abbey's purposes. I volunteer to serve as your Moloch's vessel. I see. So we just need your body with us, not your legs. Not one step closer! I'll kill myself before you lay a hand on me. The Moloch will become a demon, and you'll be stuck here forever. You don't mince words, do you? Know your foes and strike where they're weak. The basis of all combat. As cowardly as I'd expect from a disciple of Artorius. No, this is personal. Once I regain my exorcist powers, I vow to challenge you, Demon Velvet! If I lose, I'll do whatever you wish. If you want me to die or to become a vessel, so be it! <laughs> uh, uh, Velvet... <sighs> Fine. What's the Moloch's name? Normally, it is decided by their masters, but since I do not own him yet, I need to know. He's not a thing to be owned. He's Lafisette. <laughs> Lafisette. I see. O oh, child of the fountain of creation, these vows we exchange, may our purpose, resplendent, help to purify this cursed world. Remember this true name I bestow unto you. How the hell did we end up here? What's going on? That little brat! He actually unsealed the Earth Pulse? What was that? Huh. Guess this is the end of the Velvet World Tour Revengeathon. What an anticlimax. Not that I really care either way. We don't know that she's dead. Dead or alive, she's done. No way she'd keep going after seeing how outmatched she is. Bet you ten gold that I'm right. Ten gold? You're on. What in the... Luffy said, what did that exorcist do?
What happened to you? I see. So that exorcist woman pledged herself as Lafayette's vessel? Where did she head off to, then? If you two wound up here, then odds are that exorcist has appeared somewhere nearby. Then we'll find her. Sheesh, are you never not worked up about something? I said I would save him, so I will. Besides... His power is just what I need. Don't you forget our little wager now, all right? <laughs> My darling Ten Gold, murdered in his crib by a thug! I won't let her get away from me! You tried to get me with the whole hiding a chest behind where you spawn. I don't fall to that. Many games. Oh, that's a cool little light. Take point. I need to be lost compared to taps the phone. I like the way the doors open. To go down those. We all know how the thing is way too far apart. Hold up! Hold up! 
can dodge. Just try. Now they're going to add even more sneaking in. They just wanted more ways to hide my loot. Fake wall. o'clock yet and 20 minutes is close enough you're really just that hungry huh you're fighting one dead problems in dire foe battle because then they'd have BG to fucking swap between oh, ready to fight. But no, the moment they're like, oh hey, this guy looks awful. Oh, 
quits in their eyes is literally everything. If it moves and breathes, it's awesome. So exorcists are actually the vessels for their Malachim. You can do that too, can't you, Mogulu? Of course! This fair maiden has won the Malachim's Choice Award, Most Desirable Vessel, three years running! Oh? Then you wouldn't mind replacing Eleanor as Lafayette's vessel, I hope. Thanks! But no thanks. I have my hands full dealing with Bienfu as it is. If I ate Bienfu, you'd have room. <laughs> Still wouldn't work, kiddo. You saw it with your own eyes. Even if only for an instant, that kid actually held his own against the power of Enominat. Not even the resplendent Mogilu can handle something of that power. Indeed. After everything we've seen, it's obvious there's more to Lafayette than meets the eye. Yeah, but that Eleanor woman was still able to become his vessel. That's because, unlike Miss Mogilu, Madam Eleanor actually tries! Ooh. Anyway, we need to find her and beat her. She'll just bring us more trouble the longer she's out there. <laughs> oh, we'll find her. No doubt about it. This looks like some kind of ruin. Where are we? I'm surprised Judging you didn't from take the style your headset, of the walls you could have at least columns, gotten all the I'd say this wits. place is an ancient underground temple of Eumacia. Eumacia, the Empyrean of Earth. So it was by no coincidence that the Earth Pulse led us here. How did the temple builders know where to dig to connect to an Earth Pulse? Did they just get lucky? Just wham, there it is? An Earth Pulse doesn't work that way. It's a flow of natural force ordinary humans can't sense. But in those days, there were more humans capable of sensing that which others couldn't. It was people like that who guided the rest to build their temples closer to the Earth Pulses. Closer to their gods. Uh-huh. So, since Empyreans control the forces of nature, People viewed the Earth Pulses as embodiments of the gods themselves, is that it? Right. In the time when Empyrean worship was at its peak, temples like this were built all over. And I'm guessing they all looked pretty similar, so until we go outside, we're no closer to knowing where we are. That sums it up. Hmm. I wonder if they found any high-quality ore when they dug this hole. You know, for making swords. <sighs> I don't know why I bother explaining anything to you. You know, I'm starting to think you just enjoy it. <sighs> <laughs> Got him there. Let's go! No, it's One, two! One, one! Blades of wind slice 
Nothing can stop these fists. Scout ship settings. a little different.
Another victory.
fucking velvet stealing my shit. But in a, in, in a different way, in a different way, I'm kind of glad though, because me dying like that is a dire of hope. Did I just... I did see Aha. I love the delay. Why? Because you get to realize what I was talking about? Yeah. You guys again? Well, look who set up shop here. You couldn't have shown up at a better time. We need more supplies. Yes, we I'm happy to help you all. But this time, I really, really need to charge a little extra. How much extra are we talking here? Ooh, you haven't heard the stories, little turtles. Word has it. There's a spooky monster that's been eating traveling merchants around these parts. <laughs> eating merchants? She takes the shape of a black-haired girl, and when she finds greedy merchants, she gobbles them up head first. Although, if the greedy merchant was a turtle's, I bet she'd start with the crunchy shell. I'm not greedy, I swears it. Look, I had special sales going on. Everything's marked down to <laughs> normal prices. This How generous of you. Every Modulo, time. give the nice turtles the smile he lives for. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Much obliged. <laughs> like, you literally, they always. I don't. Can't believe these guys have been turtles like they make a good deal. <laughs> I'm on their own. Oh no, we'll end up. Uh, nothing. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys like just I don't care what that name is. Crap. Oh, 
literally says there's no code red to hunt. There's a code red to hunt. <laughs> it lied to me. Move it or die. Scout ship said.
one, but I am the victor. Quick save, dude, but ah, uh, quick saved again. Jesus Christ! Like, where, where's Turtle Lad? Turtle Lad's about to be rich. I know, and I'm already out of everything, dude. I swear, I used almost all 15 of my life. Things. Yeah, he's over here. Add. 
Yeah, literally, I had two left. I had 14 before I went in. Ah, but... Thank you. Need that. Difficulty requires me to have all the life button. You can't say you're not having fun, though. I am. I never said that. Oh, don't take my anger from me not having fun, guys. Play Dark Souls. Good. I will complain, but I will win eventually. <laughs> the bitch is just hard. Hey, who told you to run from me? Oh! Oh, what are you telling me? Good That was a good boss. I complained about it a lot, but that was still better than the gyro. At least it was so tough. It had a lot of good combos. That's what made it hard for me to land. And the fact that I don't have a Lofty set, who has the faster heal, is what actually it. made that so difficult. Yeah, because didn't fucking Lady the vessel steal him? He's not stolen. I'm pretty sure she got teleported away. Farther away from it. Because that would make no sense. Like, story wise, you gotta think about it. Luffy said very, very vital to the story. And that lady had no reason to betray him, but he was probably overwhelmed or either teleported due to Luffy's sense of Yeah. Because right before she absorbed him, the power went kind of up. But yeah, no, the only actual gap that boss actually has that I was able to abuse, which is what turned it, is that apparently when I got close, that whole flash that I was complaining about, is apparently the break soul that deleted all my complaints. That would defeat my combo. That takes priority. But you really do have a peculiar when she's doing it, she only attacks forward. Everywhere else is actually left wide open. So I was able to combo her with the other and keep her in the air for a while. So that's how I got to do it. Are you with though? This is a random little fucking idiot, right? I wish Velvet watched her AOP she was when she was in the AOP. At least on this difficult. Look! She's at one health because she just sat there and let it drain. Try as they might, it won't Fucking exit anything. the mode. It's an it's a mode where she can exit and enter it. It's like please. Have her be like, holy shit, wait, my health just dropped. <laughs> Fucking get out of it for a bit, get healed, then go back into it. Nah, it's okay. It's alright. It's okay, it's alright. Fucking die, who fucking cares? Buffy said never loved her anyway. Damn! Boom, 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 boom. I mean, clearly she was unloved, right? Not chosen by the father for the sacrifice for one. And, you know, not chosen by the reincarnation Maliki target. The only thing she was chosen by was to be uh, you know, a demon that eats demons. That was it. It's all her. Dude, seriously, she, she literally had a whole life before this. 
he was in the village, he brought our trickle boards, sell to the market, and then become almost a prisoner for Rafaset and Victoria. Like, it was literally just like a small little life. The The god. <laughs> Come on, really? walls over there I love how they were like keep your eye open right but if you look at my map right there's literally a divot on the side where it is like wow I wonder where the fake wall could be I don't know bear where Like everywhere else they're being sneaky, like they're hiding the fucking shit in the fucking grass, which is hard to see. They hide it behind pillars, they hide it behind behind the chest behind you when you spawn. But for some reason with the fake walls are like, well, we don't wanna to be too crazy. So we're gonna make the wall look different first off, because that is definitely a different color than every other wall here. Yeah. Then we're also gonna make it a divot. Like, dude, there's no point in that. It already has a crack in it. That's what you're supposed to be looking for, is the crack in the wall. And they're like, nah. But, hey, whatever. They've been giving me a lot of these cat souls for breaking those walls. Ooh, another thorny waistcoat. Hold up. They're icing. He did. Because I was wearing the only one we had. Yep, two. Works. Yeah, he's got to master it. Yep. Because I get the passive skills if they master it. Some of them give attacks, some of them like reduce time between items in battle. Oh, so. Ah, I see, yes. Quick save just pops up here. Face it, beat them. Any more? Don't need to be confusing myself and loading to a quick save that wasn't quick save that it did, you know. I save myself all the way back to the past. Anyway, guys, mm -hmm. that will do it for this one. That was quite a twist. I had a feeling, though, that's the way these Tales games go. They always end up beating the final boss beforehand. Normally a few times. I swear I fought the final boss, what, like three, four times in Vesperia. Before they actually let me actually fight him to death. So. Probably still going to be a while. But I'm enjoying the path. I hope you guys are too. Thank you guys for blessing. Blessed day. I will catch you next time. Peace.